welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane. Today I'm going to be showing you guys the AOKP ROM. This is Milestone 6 for the Verizon Samsung Galaxy S3. Uh, now the ROM of course is by Team Kang, but it has been ported unofficially to the Samsung Galaxy S3. It is not officially supported by Team Kang yet. Uh, but thanks to developer BMC08GT, we do have this available for our device, and we can go ahead and install it now. Uh, for those of you that are not familiar with AOKP, we will run through some of the features. If you pull down the notification bar, you'll notice all these toggles here. All of this is customizable. Uh, you have your battery percentage mod, that's customizable. Your uh, clock is customizable. Uh, even your carrier text is customizable. And of course, this is still ice cream sandwich. So if we go into settings and about phone, uh, you'll see that we're still running on 4.0.4. There is a Jelly Bean version of AOKP, but it's not available for the Samsung Galaxy S3 as of yet. It is available for some devices like the Galaxy Nexus, uh, and it should be available pretty quickly for this device as well. But for now, it's still an ice cream sandwich, which it feels like it has Project Butter baked in just because of how quick it is. Uh, you can really see how quick it is if you go through the app drawer. I mean, it feels like it has Project Butter already baked in. Of course it doesn't. It's just running on custom tweaks and mods for enhanced performance. Um, as far as I'm concerned, the battery life has been pretty outstanding. It's 5.41 in the afternoon. I unplugged at 7, and I'm still at 30% battery. And I use my phone a crap ton. So, like, I view YouTube, I stream podcasts, I check mail, like, all day. And I'm still at 30%, so that's not bad. That's a little bit better than stock. And you would think on something that's unofficial, it would be worse. Uh, while we're talking about its unofficialness, I will mention a few bugs. Uh, the only bugs that I really encountered the day after I installed this, and also the day that I installed it, I installed it pretty late at night, and it did uh, it did shut down on me altogether, and I did have to reboot. And then the next day, the screen froze up on me, and I couldn't do anything without pulling the battery and rebooting the phone. Now, I've been running it all day today, and I've not had to reboot it once. Um, also, on the first day after I installed it, my 4G, I noticed that it would drop out, and then there would be no, there would just be nothing that I could do to get my 4G back. And that was only on the first day. Uh, the only way to get my 4G back on that first day was to reboot the phone, and then I would get my 4G back. So I've ru been running this now for about three days. My 4G connection has been solid, and I've not had any random reboots all day long from 7 o'clock in the morning to 5.42 uh, today. Like I said, no random reboots. Everything has been plenty stable. Another bug that I would mention is when you pull up the keyboard... Uh, there are certain times when you press a letter and the haptic feedback just continues to vibrate until you press another letter. Uh, so that's a pretty minor bug and I'm sure that that will be fixed pretty quickly on this ROM. Um, maybe we can expect that in the next build. With this being unofficial, we won't see nightlies every single night. Uh, but as they come along, I'll post them uh, at the link in the description, which is where you can download the ROM. But we'll run through some of the features for any of you guys that are not familiar with AOKP. Then I'll show you guys how to install it. So if we come up here to Quick Links, we have ROM Control, and let's see, General UI, Navigation Bar, Lock Screen Options, several, several things to customize here. You could literally go through here and customize this ROM uh, for over an hour. You could sit around and play with all these customizations. You have LED options, your toggles, these are all customizable there. Uh, your battery percentage is customizable. Performance, this is where you can change the minimum and maximum CPU. Uh, navigation bar, some of you guys would like to enable this. I don't enable it because I'm fine with the capacitive buttons in the home key on this phone. I actually enjoy the capacitive buttons in the home key, so I'm not going to enable this. But if you do enable it, you can have five buttons here and you can choose the apps that you want. So like, say you wanted to have YouTube uh, as the navigation button, you could add that, or Twitter. Uh, anything that you want access to very quickly, you can add that to your navigation bar, which is a cool feature for those of you that want it. On the lock screen options, uh, you can choose random applications, custom applications to go directly to from the lock screen. Uh, there's music controls from the lock screen, all kinds of really cool stuff. So anyhow, we'll go ahead and do the install guide. You're going to need this easy recovery. Uh, and you will find that in the Play Store. So go to the Play Store, grab Easy Recovery. You're also going to want to download the AOKP Milestone 6 ROM as well as the Ice Cream Sandwich G apps from the links in the description. You'll open up Easy Recovery. And you'll go to the Recovery Options here. And you will select, uh, you will need to select this Clockwork Mod Covery Touch. So select that and hit the button that says Flash here. And then you'll reboot into Recovery. So we'll go ahead and reboot into recovery now. 
Now the reason that this works is because of the Kegzek boot process which was developed by CVPCS and it really circumvents the unlock bootloader so that's pretty much all that it does. Um, but it makes it to where we can put basically whatever we want to put on there, custom ROMs, we can put custom kernels and have overclocking. Um, pretty much it gives us full access to our phone. Now we'll touch the wipe data factory reset and then you would touch yes. I'm going to go back for now because I already have it on my phone. Wipe cache. You'll select yes. I'm going to go back. You're going to go to advanced and wipe Dalvik. And then once that's finished you'll go back. Then you'll go to, uh, we'll, we'll go back one more time and then install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card but you'll go to choose zip from internal SD card. If you download it directly to your phone it'll be in the download folder and you're looking for uh, the AOKP Milestone 6, you'll select that and click yes to install. That's going to take about a minute and a half. When that's finished, you'll go back and then you'll select the G apps uh, from the internal SD card. So just be sure that you are flashing the Ice Cream Sandwich G apps. The latest version is from April 29th. So you'll go ahead and select that, click yes to flash. We're going to go back and go back again and reboot the system. So I'll leave you guys with the the boot animation. Now it's going to seem like it boot loops for the very first boot up. Well, anytime you reboot your phone, it's going to seem to boot loop three times, and that's just uh, it's doing its thing. It's doing that kegzek boot process where it's circumventing the bootloader so that it can run the ROM. So don't be alarmed if it looks like it's boot looping. It's not actually boot looping. That's just how the custom recovery works. Uh, but anyways, guys, you can check me out at droidmonterx.com for the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to hit the subscribe button right there um, if you would like to have more news on the Samsung Galaxy S3. I'll be covering this device very heavily on this channel as well as the new Nexus 7. I also cover the Galaxy Nexus and several other devices so you want to make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX. I do Twitter giveaways. In fact, I'm announcing one tomorrow evening so you want to be sure that you're following me on Twitter there. And thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one.